big shout out to some of our amazing fans for liking and commenting on our videos. Roni Miram, Kaylin Trahan, Awesome Sauce 99, Carolina Ferreras, Sherry, Filma Maldonado, Taylor Lopez, Cynthia Duong, Mauricio Abella, and Izzy Schaefer. And I apologize if I got anyone's names wrong. As well as a special hello to Lizzie and Gabby Torek. And thank you to everyone who watches and comments or makes great suggestions for the Ricardo family videos. We hope you love this video. George goes for surgery. Doctor, still no results. Should we just call it? No, I know he can get better. Come on, George. You've got a family waiting for you. Charging, 300. Clear. We've got a pulse. He's stabilizing. Good job, doctor. Well, sadly to say, he's not out of the woods just yet. Let's get him prepped for surgery. I'm gonna go talk to the family and let them know what's going on. Yes, doctor. Yes, I think that's good. The one lady out there, she's a little bit nervous. All right, I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay, doctor. Oh, Jason. I'm really scared, Jason. What if George doesn't make it? I'm scared too, Judy. I don't know what I'd do without Uncle George. He's always been there. He's like a father to me. I know, dear. He's such a sweet man. No, we're not gonna be negative. We're gonna stay positive. George is a strong, wonderful man. He's gonna make it. Oh, look, Jason, the doctor's coming. Finally, some answers. You're Mr. Carlisle's family? Yes, I'm his nephew. Wonderful. I just wanted to let you both know that we're prepping him for surgery. Surgery? Yes, two of his arteries are blocked. So he's going to have to have those cleared out. Was that code blue for my George? Yes, it was. We had to resuscitate him. Oh, dear. But it's okay. He's stable now. So we're going to move him into surgery straight away. If you guys want to get some food, I would suggest that. He's going to be in surgery for a few hours. Thank you, doctor. Are we able to see him before he goes in? Unfortunately, no. He's unconscious right now. And we're prepping him for surgery because we have to get in there straight away. All right, I understand. Do you have any other questions for me regarding the surgery? Do you think he's going to make it? His outcome looks positive, so as long as everything goes okay with the surgery, he should be okay. I'll come out after the surgery and let you know how he did. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Wow, poor Uncle George. Let's just hope that everything goes okay with the surgery. Yes. I'm going to give Becky a call and just let her know what's going on. Okay, Jason, dear. Sounds good. I'm going to go find some water. I'm thirsty. That sounds like a good idea. Hello? Becky! Jason, how's George doing? Well, not good, but they've stabilized him. That's good, but what does that mean? Well, I think his heart stopped. Oh my gosh. Is he going to be okay? We're still not sure. They're taking him in for surgery. A couple of his arteries were blocked, I guess. Oh my gosh, Jason, I'm so sorry. This isn't good at all, is it? No, no it's not. So when do they take him for surgery? They're prepping him right now. Well, that's good. So Judy and I are going to stay here and wait until he's out of surgery. Oh, I totally understand. I talked to my mom and my dad, and I told them what's going on. Mom's going to be home in a bit, so I'll drop the kids off at my mom's. She said she'd watch them. Then I'll come by and see you and Grandma. Okay, honey, that sounds good. Thanks. Oh, Jason, it's going to be okay. He's going to be fine. Becky. Yeah? We almost lost him, and he's still not out of the woods. I don't know what I would do without him. He means so much to me. He's always been there for me, Becky. I know, honey, I know. If I know your Uncle George, he's gonna pull through. Let's just try to stay positive. Okay, thanks, honey. I love you. I love you too. I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Okay, I'll just see you later. Bye, honey. Bye. Uncle George, please make it through. Oh, here, Jason. I got you a drink. I wasn't sure if you'd be thirsty or not like me. Thanks, Judy. Did you get a hold of Becky? Yeah, I did. She's gonna drop the kids off with Lucy later, and then she'll stop by. Oh, that's good. How are you doing, honey? Not great. I'm really worried, Judy. I know. This is very hard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uncle George has always been there. Didn't matter what, I could always talk to him when I was younger. I guess I can always talk to him now. He is a lovely man, that George. We're very lucky to have him in our lives. Yeah, we are. I just really hope he's gonna make it. Me too. I wonder how the surgery is going. Vitals are looking good, doctor. Perfect. 
cocaine, need the chest separator, making an incision, clamping. How's he looking now? Vitals are still good, doctor. Great. Well, except for this blockage, his heart's looking really good. Not too long now, George. You're gonna be all done. Just hold in there. Becky. Huh? Oh, Becky. Jason, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Just slipped off the chair. Oh dear. I'm okay, I'm okay. Hi, honey. How's George? Any news? No, nothing yet, dear. He's still in surgery. Still? It's been a few hours. Yeah, I know. Nothing yet. The doctor said that it would take a while, but that she'd come out after it was done. So we've just been waiting here, but I hope they're done soon. Well, I got here as fast as I could. Thanks, honey. I really appreciate it. You talked to your mom and your dad? Yes, and they wanted to say to you that they hope that George pulls through. Well, it was nice of them to take the kids. Well, of course. They knew that we should be here with him. Yes. It was very nice of them indeed. Hey look, I think that's Uncle George and the Doctor Nell. Doctor, how is he? Yeah, Doctor, how'd it go? It couldn't have gone any better. Your uncle is a strong man. That is so good to hear. Can we talk to him? He still needs to rest from the surgery. But once we get him settled into the room, you can definitely go and visit him once he fully wakes up. Oh, that's so good to hear. We were all really worried. He should make a full recovery as long as he takes it easy. No hiking for a little while. Oh, George, I'm so happy. I'll come and check on him in a little bit once he's settled. Thanks, doctor. No problem. Hi, Uncle George. Hi, George. Hi, Uncle George. He probably won't be able to talk to you guys for a little bit. He's still pretty out of it from the anesthesia. That's okay, George. We'll come up and see you shortly, okay? Mm. Don't try to talk, George. You just rest. I'm taking it up to the third floor. If you guys want to follow me. Oh, thank you. Ma'am. Huh? Ma'am. Oh, hello. You forgot your hiking poles and your backpack and my ambulance. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was yours at first. I should have with the hiking poles, but it just didn't clue in. That's okay. So I had to look in the backpack to see whose it was. Oh. And I really wanted to make sure you got back to you because I didn't want you to lose your ring. My ring? Yes. There's a ring in this backpack. A ring? Oh, George. Ma'am, my name's Fred, not George. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry, Fred. Yes, uh, thank you so much for returning our backpack and our hiking poles. How's your friend doing, ma'am? Oh, he just got out of surgery and the doctor said everything looks good. I'm so glad to hear that, ma'am. Well, I gotta get going. Thank you again for returning our belongings. No problem. Here you go. George was gonna propose to me. Oh, what a sweet, wonderful man. No wonder he was so nervous. <laughs> I'm so surprised. I didn't even expect it. I need to talk to George. Hey, Uncle George. How are you feeling? Oh, Jason, my boy. Oh, I've been better, to tell the truth. Oh, George, we're so happy you're okay. Yes, George, we really are. You gave us quite a scare. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, we know, honey. We know. We're just so happy, Uncle George. Me too. Kez, would you mind if I had a moment alone with George? Oh, no problem, Judy. Yeah, no problem. I gotta go call Mom and Dad and check on the kids anyways. I'll come with you. We're so happy you're okay again, George. Thank you, Becky, my dear. George. Yes, Judy, my dear. George, I was so scared that I was going to lose you when you just came into my life not too long ago. Never, Judy. I could never leave you. I love you. I love you too, George. Yes, Judy. Will you marry me? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George, you've made me the happiest woman in the world. Anything for you, my dear. Anything for you. All right, you get some rest, honey. I'll come back and check on you a little bit. Thank you, Judy, my dear. Thank you. I love you, George. I love you too, dear. Oh, I better go tell Jason and Becky. You get some sleep now, dear. I will. Best day ever. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree top, please subscribe 
to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas!